Alright everyone, so as we know, the past couple of weeks have been a great time to be a DCEU fan, and we have actually been covering a lot of recent leaked info and plot breakdowns for future DC films here on the Hybrid Network. We did a video kind of breaking down a lot of future plans on DC, we did a video talking about Man of Steel 2 and what's going to happen in that film, we also did some on the recent announcement that Deathstroke is going to be in the DC films uh, Slate, a part of the Batman solo film as the main villain, so we've been covering a lot of DC news. And in this video, we're actually going to be talking about some new DC films that are rumored for their post-2020 slate. Now, obviously, we know, as per the official slate that they have released, uh, Green Lantern Corps and Cyborg are probably their last films that are going to be coming out in 2020, and both of those films we haven't really heard much about. Now, as for this new leaked info coming at us from the same sources as before, the sources here are saying that New Gods, The Birds of Prey, and Crime Syndicate are all films that are planned after 2020. Now obviously Warner Brothers hasn't officially announced that these films are in production or they're going to happen, however we have gotten a lot of uh, sort of rumors and speculation as to whether these would happen. Now George Miller was rumored to be circling the New Gods film to direct, and obviously as we know he's wrapped up right now in a Mad Max sequel and some other projects, and he doesn't really want to do a big high budget action film just quite yet. But he is executive producing the Justice League film directed by Zack Snyder, so we probably know that he will direct a DC film down the line, he's just probably trying to figure out what actual film he wants to direct. Now Birds of Prey is also another one that was rumored for a while and it was rumored that the Harley Quinn film was going to actually be what this is, like a female sort of team up movie about the Birds of Prey in there, Poison Ivy, uh, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, all those type of characters. So that's pretty awesome stuff right there. And last but not least we have The Crime Syndicate actually. A very interesting film because it's kind of like a different take on the DC Justice League characters. Like it's this alternate universe, uh, Earth 3, The Crime Syndicate, the, the evil Justice League. And we saw them prominently in the comic book story arc The Dark Side of War and Forever Evil, which were both really big hits during the New 52. And I assume that DC films, you know, Jeff Johns was a main part of those story arcs. He wrote both of them and kind of spearheaded that section of DC comics. So I can assume that Jeff is probably talking to the other big wigs at DC and Zack Snyder about, you know, probably adapting some of that into the DC comics uh, film universe. So pretty awesome stuff there. I'm very excited to see what they do because that's something that hasn't really been explored on film yet, like an alternate take on superhero team that's evil. Also is more info about the future of the Justice League universe. Now, Darkseid might not actually be the villain for Justice League 2. The studio might actually use the Injustice League or Ocean Master and the Throne of Atlantis storyline. Now, this also lines up with what we heard about the other leaked info in the last video we did about, you know, Ocean Master being in the Aquaman film but not being the villain and just kind of setting up that storyline for a potential future film. So this makes a lot of sense that they want to do this epic sort of crossover film with Aquaman and Justice League in the Throne of Atlantis because that's also something that hasn't really been done before. Now as for some other small info that we got out of this recently, Deathstroke is going to be featured in three future DC films so I can assume maybe Suicide Squad 2, The Batman, and another film. Justice League Dark will be taking Shazam's release date in 2019 in April while Shazam will take Justice League 2's release date and JL2 will move to November of 2019. Cyborg will also be replaced by the Man of Steel sequel titled Last Son of Krypton. The Cyborg movie will be retroactively transformed into a Titans film and is scheduled to come out October of 2020, featuring Nightwing, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven. Now, interestingly enough, there's also been small talks of bringing Static into the DCEU. So that is all the info breakdown that we have for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, and what are your thoughts on the new DC films in terms of the new gods, the crime syndicate, or the birds of prey? Which one are you most excited to see out of those three? I think I have to go personally with either a toss-up between between the new gods and the crime syndicate just because they're such an unknown property and it would be very very interesting to see how they tackle those on the big screen. So if you're stopping by the channel for the first time subscribe for more content like this. My name is Nick and I will catch you guys next time.